We will open this meeting of uh, April 12th, 2012. Let the record show that Selectman Jessamyn is not present. We will open with um, minutes. Did everybody get one of these, or is this just me for the for the uh, property purchase and sales? No, I don't know. I need, it. I need to think I got one, but maybe I did. Just you. Oh, okay. <clears throat> All right. Two nine. On the first, um, on the first page, under donations, I have I I may have said this, but it's incorrect. Um, I made a motion to accept a five hundred dollar check to the Tilton Senior Center from Cindy Reinhardt's to purchase paint for the main hall. Cindy Reinhardt's actually paid for the helped to pay for the painting of the main hall. It was. Um, Chief Cormier that bought the paint. On page two, the board discussed graffiti on a stop sign in Grange Road in, I think, Lancaster is spelled wrong, incorrectly. Lancaster. <coughs> <Ryan> <laughs> Is that how you spell rescission? What? Page three. Um, <clears throat> probably a quarter of the way down. Legally, it is just for the bond rescission. That doesn't look right. Legally, it is just the bond rescission. Rescission? I think that's spelled incorrectly. Rescission. About <clears throat> three, about a quarter of the way down, Joyce reported there are, pub there are public hearings scheduled for next Thursday. Well, it doesn't, I don't, I think it's R-E-C, I, yeah, I think, but just before that, it said Joyce reported there is a public hearing scheduled for. Page four. 
under Selectman Dawson, it says that you inspected the entire campus of the Tilton Prep School. That was February 9th. Do you go back for a second inspection? I couldn't inspect all of Harrington House. So or the athletic field, which aren't on the campus. So we cross out entire. I'd cross out entire. On mm. page four, under health officer Selectman Darson, reported I would cross out entire because that's an inaccurate statement. I may have said entire, but I had to go back and do Harrington House on the athletic field because of the season. Yeah. I didn't know what the procedure was. I think if you go back a second time. Or... Uh -huh. I've been back four times so far. <laughs> okay. I'd like to make a motion to approve the minutes of February 9th, 2012, as collected. Second. Any more ads, concerns, or discussion on that? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Abstain. Okay. Thank you, Adam. To make a motion to bring the minutes of February 23rd, 2012 to the floor for discussion and ultimate approval. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Questions, concerns, additions? On page two, mm -hmm. um, very last sentence of the first paragraph. Joyce reported that the Board of Tax and Land Appeals from Tilton's Resort from 2010 taxes they withdrew. Abatement? The <clears throat> I mean, what did they withdraw? I assume it's tax abatement. Tax and land appeals. Joe's reported that Tilton Resorts withdrew their appeal. appeal from the Board of Land and Tax Appeals yeah. for 2010 taxes. Something like that. Yeah. I had to read that four times. Yeah, I know. I was like, what? <laughs> that was like one of those tests. Recycling committee met and there will be a town wide yard sale on April 28th, 2012. The next sentence, can we expound upon that a little bit more? The committee will be involved in the drop off of prescriptions again this year. Some people would, wouldn't know what that is. 
you know, that's when people can bring unused or expired prescriptions for us to properly dispose of. Mm-hmm. Sounds like we're... <laughs> you know, I went to, not last year, year before I took my leftover drugs to one of those, and I'm thinking, oh, they're going to think I'm a drug head. I had a bag full. Wow, there were people there with two and three big plastic bags full. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. I was really amazed. Yeah, just take something so people will know just what that's about. Thank you. of February 23rd, 2012, as corrected. Second. Call those in favor. Aye. 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 Abstain. Abstain. We can't do it. Well, I can because I've I I looked at the tape. No, we can't do it because that's a two to two vote. We're not. We don't have a quorum. Well, if I vote in the affirmative, they don't have to abstain just because they weren't here. Right. Um, so I voted in favor. Okay, so it's not a problem. Right. I, mean, I watched the tape. Way, so you, you, the you, you can look at the minutes for corrections, miracle punctuation. They're not a dog. Doesn't make sense. <laughs> have to wait for Joe to get back. Minutes. <laughs> I went um, all I ain't agreeing. <laughs> and, no, that's a. I feel very confident about it anyway because I, yeah. I watched the video, so I saw what everybody said. All right. Next, uh, conservation's coming in 15 minutes, so. You want to do a five minute non public? And I'll update you on my conversation with my. The Bill Hickey. Mm hmm. Thanks. Mm-hmm. That'll take a second. Yeah, there's nobody here, so it'll be fine. Make a motion to enter into non public session as per RSA 91A colon 3. Um, it's the real estate thing. D. It's actually a. No, it's E. It's, it's litigation. A, yeah, it's litigation. Consideration or negotiation of pending claims or litigation. Second. Yeah. Roll call vote? Yes. 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 Make a motion. We seal the minutes of the non-public and so the matter is resolved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Do you want to take a look at this? You got to drag it. Oh no, you have to do this up here. This button right here. I thought it was on it. There you go. <laughs> It is, but it sleeps. Oh. <laughs> In learning. <laughs> Training 101. I didn't even know what it was. Um, hmm. This little plant has a different sign. Yes. Yep. Yeah. So I like to build that for guys with the white hats. <laughs> <laughs> Can I say something like that? <laughs> Did we found out uh, from Cindy if there's any liens on this at all? Oh, no, I didn't. Let me run downstairs. I got Dare I ask? Thank you for 
Did we? It's you. Oh, I'm sorry. U7 Lot 24A. U7 24A. I was going to ask if we did one of those, I don't even want to say it out loud, checks. Did we do a deed search? Not yet. <laughs> we will. That's pretty good. What does the Conservation Commission see as a benefit to that piece of property? I know it's going to make Buffalo Park a smidge bigger, but other than that, what is the benefit? Access? Anything? Right, right now, we have not planned because it was fairly close to the uh, landlord next to the boxes. I haven't, done in I haven't gone in yet and done a search of which one of the trails might be nearest or whether or not it would be worth putting in other access. <coughs> There are no property tax liens on the property, but she does not know if there should be something at the registry. Another kind of lien. It's um, I mean it's a it's a buildable lot, so essentially we're taking it off the tax rolls. How big is the lot? Point two eight. A quarter acre. A little over a quarter of an acre. I thought we had to have a half acre. Point two eight. It's a buildable lot. It's a lot of record. It's a lot mm -hmm. of record. Oh, okay. Hmm? The high one? Well, what's the minimum? Yeah. Okay. Two six chestnuts. Is it two? Uh, it depends on what oh, zone you're in. Oh, okay. Highland. This is fifty six chestnuts. It is. Oh, that's just. Uh, He's a rock signer. You're seven point yeah, four. That's one. why. I think Al signed everything here, but he hasn't signed payroll. Okay. Okay. Joyce? Um, if we purchase this property when it's given to the attorney, would the attorney look in the registry to make sure there's no liens against it? I'm just wondering when this happens. Um, it's the buyer. We're the buyer. It's our responsibility to look. Didn't we? 24A. Send you an email U seven twenty four A. U seven twenty four A. That says on Highland. Am I right? Lawrence. Waiting first of all for. Am I right? Blessings of. Yeah, this one says Chisholm Street. Yeah. That's funny. Mm -hmm. Lawrence, the state, right? Yep. Okay. Well, that's wrong. Well, this is wrong. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's you said 24 hours. Mm -hmm. How interesting. Okay. Something's wrong. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't do that prior to that. Mm -hmm. I don't even read that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's something wrong. Okay. So it's contingent on the cert, the D cert, clear title, and everything. <clears throat> So again, what is the advantage to us owning this as opposed to leaving it on the tax rolls? Well, the tax, I believe, on the property is at the most been eight hundred dollars in recent years. Right, but if it's sold as a house lot and built upon, those taxes would increase. Well, I guess if the uh, it depends upon what the goal of the community is. We thought that this piece would uh, would, would add nicely to Buffalo Park, and we thought it would be just a nice conservation piece. Mm -hmm. 
you know, that's had an interest in wanting uh, the conservation of the town to acquire it as compared to put, making it into a uh, trying to sell it as a building. It abuts Buffalo Park, correct? Yeah. So this actually uh -huh. could be a parking lot to yeah. Buffalo Park. Absolutely. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. The and this is kind of, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt, but this is um, where the other one, well, I guess there is a big enough turnaround. This would allow for a bigger radius of a parking lot than the, than the other access to Buffalo Park. A bit bigger, but that means we'd have two parking lots to maintain. Wouldn't it just be widening this parking lot a little? The existing parking lot is off of High Street, is it not? Yes. Okay, oh, okay. and this one is up off of Highland. Highland. Okay. All right. <coughs> if they chose to do this route, then they might close the other route. You never know, or keep both open. Is that what you? Uh, we. That's. Well, that's what I, that's where I was going. I mean, mm -hmm. we're, we're still in discussion with that, so then that would actually give us three accesses to it. Well, even if nothing else, they could use it to... It's conservation land. But you so already have an access at the end that. of Highland Avenue, because the end of Highland Avenue is Buffalo Park. Right? No, you don't. It wraps around that. That. Two pieces of property. This piece here, though. Um, but there's no. There's only one access. Well, I suppose you could. I mean, it will take a. Well, it hasn't been developed yet. Just if like you could this develop is not it. developed. Right. No, at the time. <coughs> Invite him up here because it was <coughs> waiting. All right. This is different than that tax. And it was the consensus of the conservation to go forward with this. Was it was it unanimous that they wanted to go forward with this? Uh, I believe so. If you will recall, um, I was out of state. Mm -hmm. That's right. On, um, this is just interesting, on this card file I have in my hand, this tax map, it says 56 Chestnut Street. When you pull it up on the screen, it says 25 Highland yes, Avenue. That's, that's him. That's where he lives. This is for this is for Mount two set. Well, I was looking at that. See, that's the, that's it says it's their owner information. <coughs> okay, that's weird. It doesn't indicate anywhere on here that that property is not at 56 Chestnut Street. Oh, here it is. I found it. Take it back. I found it. There it is up there. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's where it matches. That. So it matches. Okay. okay. We found it. Thank you. That was really weird for a while. Mm -hmm. So, is this enough to hold my 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 personal concern? Mm -hmm. Is uh, this uh, title must be clear or acceptable to the town of Tilton at its sole discretion? Is that going to cover us going forward? And the purchase and sale. If we sign this purchase and sale, make a motion to enter into a purchase and sale agreement with this party for this land. Is that going to hold us to make sure that the title, if the title is not clear, then we don't have to go forward with it? 
title's not clear. They're, they're giving you a warranty title, correct? It's a warranty deed. Warranty deed, yes. And if there's any any problems with this, they have not correct those problems. So if you can't correct them to your satisfaction, then your property is insane. Okay. Also on page three, but it, due diligence. Okay. That that is a, a thirty days in there now, and it does just say in such a thirty days to get a complete review. It's unsatisfactory. Buyer must notify the seller within thirty days. So that fifteen is now thirty. It is. I, that was, by the way, I guess uh, it was. Changed and corrected last week. Ginny Peterson signed. Yes, oh, okay, I see it. And it was faxed back to. Okay, Jim I got it. There. Got it. Yeah. So that's thirty days. It okay. Yeah, it was, uh, when uh, we had looked at the, the original one, was done on like sixty days to out of fifteen, and then there were some questions, and I had talked with uh, Jim Proxy about the 15 days or not, it was 15 calendar days or 15 whatever. He does a lot more work within the, the real estate business, so he said it's often 15 work days, which would then be three weeks. And in our discussions, he went back and proposed 30, and they said fine. The problem was it took so long because it took uh, there were 12 heirs on the property. And they had to get each of the heirs, each of the 12, to sign off to give power of attorney to Virginia Peterson. So that's, it, that, it took weeks <laughs> from the original uh, date. Well, I just, I don't know what it means by acceptable to the town of Tilton at its sole discretion. I don't understand what that means. That's. I mean, that would be illegal for when you're having the. Uh... On the surface, it sounds like it's to our advantage, our sole discretion. Mm -hmm. To the town of Tilton mm -hmm. at its sole discretion. Mm -hmm. so basically, any hink we can say, nope, sorry, don't want it. Yeah. Right. Well, it's an interesting clause, but typically it's I've, I've never seen more it. specific. Yep. Okay. Although, as you can see, this is a standard purchase and sale agreement by the Manchester Realtor, so I'm assuming it's in. Well, this was here. This was typed in after additional provision. I'm sorry, I must be looking at it. Page five. I apologize, I don't have the advantage of the Conservation Commission's discussion, but I just don't see the advantage to this little piece of property being added to Buffalo Park. What is your opinion on, on purchasing the property? Me personally? Yep. I'm in favor of acquiring land for conservation purposes. Um, this is very small in size. I'm not, I, I, I don't know that I have tried to weigh all the positives against the negatives. I don't look at it in the same way as it's uh, mm -hmm. uh, taking a buildable lot off of the tax map. I take a look at it as a chance to pick up a piece of property that I think would be worth having. How long has this been on the, on the taxes? Uh, a non-buildable lot, how long has it been? It's a buildable lot, it's a lot of record. Uh, how long has it been without a building on it? It's never had a building never on it, right? Never had a building on it. No, never had a building on it. And this is from the Lawrence estate? That's it is. So it probably, by subdivision or point lot line adjustment, ended up being this small. Because that was a significant, the Pillsbury and the Lawrence's. Can, uh, well. I'd like to make a motion that we uh, go with the recommendation of the Conservation Commission and enter into a purchase and sale agreement I'll second that. with um, Virginia Peterson POA for the property of U7, Lot 24A. Second it. Okay. Any more discussion on it? Catherine? Um, I don't have Did we negotiate the price any, or? Yes, in a way. Okay. In a way was that uh, the 
the Conservation Commission authorized uh, one of its members who uh, made the initial contact and started at a much lower price. The attorney uh, to the realtor came back and basically said um, they were not interested in trying to negotiate another price. I believe the price here of 29.9 is one price, and then there's an on the assessed evaluation, which I think is 34.5 or something. Right. Like that. Yeah. 34. 000. 34. Yeah. So um, after it got back to the point that uh, the city being represented by 12 different the members were not interested in trying to negotiate something left. We even offered uh, that they would take less money and try to use part of that as a tax write-off by putting, if it would go under a conservation easement, and they said, no, thank you, we're not interested. So at that point, we went ahead and said, okay, would, would you sell for 29.9? And they said yes. Okay. Okay, we have a motion on the floor and a second. Is there any more discussion on the motion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? No. And Catherine, I'd like to go on record that my narrow is I'm against taking that buildable lot off the tax rolls at this point. So noted. Okay. Mm -hmm. We need to sign off on this now. You just go forward with yours. Yeah, now that uh, you bought the new bond like that, we can get in touch with uh, Okay. Thank you. Tell her I said hi. She's a nice lady. Okay. Public input. Do we have any public input? <clears throat> Do we have any public? Okay, Joyce, you're up. Just not enough chocolate in my day today. Um. As you know, Lauren was here today on her regular contract assessing day, and there's some disposition of abatement forms in the to be signed folder. Um, if you want to look at those, imposters. Pat had asked me last week to contact some of the communities that are losing full representation under the House Republican Leadership Plan. Mm -hmm. I obtained a list of 62 communities that would, would be losing full representation, and I believe I contacted just about all of them, except about maybe five. I just wasn't able to get their email address. But so far I have received, um, and I'll give these all to you to review, three communities are not interested. Five communities said that they will ask their boards and get back to me. And then five communities said yes, they were interested. Right now in talking mm -hmm. with the other five interested communities, um, two of them are um, Concord and Manchester, which would be the biggest ones. So I, I, my personal opinion, I think, is that a lot of these smaller communities will see how Concord and Manchester decide to go. Concord has a city solicitor. Mm. Right. <clears throat> he was the one that was involved in the original lawsuit back in 2000 mm -hmm. when they did did the uh, redistricting then. So I think that they're, they'll probably go on, on their own on that. Um, I do have that article from Sandy gave me when they authorized their city solicitor to look into it. And when I uh, communicated with um, the assistant city manager at Concord, <coughs> he said he would make sure that the selectman's concerns would be forwarded to the city manager and the, the city council. So they do have our interests. So I'm hoping that um, uh, by next Thursday we'll have heard back from more communities to see. 
but I have these if you want to look through some of the responses. In fact, I have the redistricting folder. I'll just leave it right on top of the selectmen's. Okay. Um, as you know, the Concord City Council voted to not go forward with the current plan for the single stream recycling. Um, from what I understand, <clears throat> the um, operating committee and the joint board, they still have some time that they will be looking at other options. It's just that what has been the two proposals that have been presented to the city of Concord, city of Concord has rejected both of those, which one was the original one with the debt service, right. and then the meeting that we had attended where they had a fallback position to like a, a stop gap so that they, the co-op wouldn't be responsible for any debt service if it were to uh, not be successful. So they, there's still some time mm -hmm. for the operating committee to take a look at it. Right. But I do know in talking with um, my counterparts in Franklin, Belmont, and Northfield were all very concerned that somebody, we need to be looking mm -hmm. long term <coughs> for what we're going to be doing because our, our, in Tilton, our sanitation budget is almost 10% of our operating budget, mm -hmm. not counting <coughs> the sewer commission, right. which is part of our operating budget. So we're staying on top of it and I'm anxious for Joe to get back so that he, because um, he serves on the operating committee, wouldn't be privy to all that information for us, but needless to say, the um, at least in our area, we're all very disappointed in the action that Concord took, but we're not giving up. Um, today you went over and met with the EPA monitor, mm -hmm. and um, uh, so Catherine had mentioned that Kim had said that we should send a letter to our congressional delegation, so with your permission, I'll go ahead and yep. get a copy of our um, the application that we submitted for the cleanup grant and send it to our two senators and our, and then I'll have it so the selectmen can sign it. Mm -hmm. Thank Did you. Did you verify that that was a good idea? No, I haven't yet, but if it, it can't, I don't think at this stage it can hurt. No? Okay. Okay, meeting with Dennis on state roads. Um, he wanted to wait for Joe to get back, but he's free any day next week. So did you want to set up a time with him now or? or? I think it's a good idea to get started on it. Um, now Monday and Tuesday, he was, I was thinking Monday or Tuesday, but now Wednesday's gonna be pretty busy because you've got the chat spaghetti supper. I'm Monday, Tuesday, it doesn't matter. <coughs> Even Thursday, but that's better for everybody else. Mm -hmm. <coughs> we haven't come in a regular meeting? Um, he it's more or no, less like a workshop. Yeah, All during right. the day. Mm -hmm. But Wednesday morning, we have our staff meeting. Tuesday is out for me. Tuesday, we, it, it's meetings all day. Okay, so no bad. Um, Thursday, are we still doing the open house at the PD on Thursday the 19th? Planning to. Okay. So Thursday's good? Friday's good? we are Thursday. Wednesday morning. Huh? Well, I can't do it Wednesday morning. I have to do hairs. On Thursday? Monday. What about Monday? Monday? How's Monday for everybody? <sighs> we have to do an inspection. We have a joint inspection we're going to do on Monday. What time? What time what Monday time? then? What time? I haven't come? set the date, so if we did that first thing. Maybe 11, go ahead, get there by 11.30. Be back, how about 1 o'clock? 1 o'clock. 1 o'clock. <coughs> Monday, that sounds good to me. How's that for you? That's good. Is that good? One o'clock Monday? Now, is it my understanding you're just going to be reviewing the state roads? So we'll post it as a selectman's meeting. Yep. And it will be... Um, no, we need to we need to look at all of our roads because the so state roads, we're going to pay a third of the cost. Towns Road will pay 100% of the cost. So we're going to project these and, you know, what impact's going to have on the town. We're going to need from Tim our indebtedness and the payoff of those debts. Right. 
That includes the school district and the fire district, because those are all debts that we yes. have. <coughs> um, what about water district? <coughs> no, we're not obligated to the water district's debts. On the board appointments, um, we still need some positions filled on the Recycling Committee, the Parks Commission, C Commission, the Energy Committee, and we still have the one opening for trustee at trust funds. <coughs> but well, all the others have been... committees, we should, <coughs> excuse me, resurrect or find um, new members for the Road Committee <coughs> so we can negotiate with the state on this class two state aid board programs. Do you recall who was on it before when you did Silver yeah, Lake Road? I was on it, I'd like to say on it. Dave Wadley was on it, Senator Sanders was on it, Jim Dodge was on it. That'd be great. Dave Wadley would be excellent too. <coughs> The um, insurance, uh, I contacted the local government center to find out how, why they hadn't sent us our, the hold up, the hold back on the water damage for the Grange, which I had submitted back in the middle of December. And they looked and come to find out the representative that we had had since left and she had closed it out. So they reopened it. And um, they wanted to have, uh, because the way we had paid for the work was the work was as a note in the, an added note to our scope of services with our contractor. So he, all the work was defined, but the cost was lumped in with the total sum. So I said, you know, that's what I sent. I mean, can't, can't you just pay it with that? I said, we did a lot of, you know, a lot more work. And he said, okay, they would authorize paying it without having it broken out in detail exactly what the individual cost units were. So that will be coming. What about USDA? Uh, USDA today, I just finished making all the photocopies of all the um, expenses that we had. Because we just had two more that were processed this week. What does that mean when you just finished photocopying all of the documents? That means that you'll be ready to send them out? Yes. Or is that? Yes. They, they wanted to know. We have to prove what our total project cost was. We did meet the threshold of the 20000 But she wanted to see everything that we've spent on the project. So, and I had told her last time she called was that, um, yeah, we're, we're just about done and we're going to be opening the doors. So I have the. Uh, we should have submitted that when we reached the twenty thousand threshold. We far exceeded the twenty thousand threshold on that. We've spent way beyond that. We have. Um, Best Pocket Park, uh, Catherine. I think I gave you my copy of that email from Phil Miles. Did you? Uh, no, no. Oh, I was going to say, I no, I thought you said you copied me on it. Right. <coughs> you sent it out to everybody. I did? Okay, yeah. good. Mm -hmm. We got it. Um, all right, well, I didn't save mine. But uh, what they want to do is proceed with uh, submitting it to the their long-range planning Commission, and they have agreed to waive the assessed value and the administrative fee. So we're going to go forward with that. So that's good news. About that, um, we had received the 2012 local officials workshops, and I was wondering what I'd like to do is send this out to members of all our committees. I don't know if they would have all received these, but 
Should we go ahead and do that and make sure that they know this is an option if they'd like to sign up for the, these? Because mm -hmm. they cover mm -hmm. things like the right to know law. Mm -hmm. And they go right through till uh, September. I think it's a good idea. The yeah, topics will include right to know law, ethics and conflicts, town government, go governance, public employment, liability, and more. Mm. So just to let them know that it's available. I need to stop this discussion for a minute and ask Sandy a question on this current use. <coughs> Isn't this primary property pretty wet? Yes. They have no, not indicated any of it is wetland. I don't know how that affects current use. Well, the classification of unproductive, it has to be, it doesn't say wetland, it's unproductive. And that definition includes, I mean, it basically has to be a pond, a brook, a lake. It says unproductive land, and under it says wetland. <coughs> or ledge, something that could not produce anything. There. Uh, there is, but not <coughs> maybe not today. It's been pretty dry. Yeah, I was going to say <coughs> not year round. Uh, from my understanding, with the new rules that they had, unless you have a physical pond on your property or standing water most of the year, that they don't necessarily accept it as a wetland. I mean, just like on my property, <coughs> I, I use my own because the area between my two fields. In the spring, I have a regular river in there and, and a big pond. In the wintertime, it's an ice skating pond. And finally, it'll drain off, and usually by the beginning of July, I can mow over there. But that is just considered seasonal runoff, and it's not a wetland. Well, this is a definite wetland. This isn't seasonal. Right. I mean, we're having a drought, dry period, so a lot of wetlands are right. dry. But that property... Uh, well, I don't know... And, I, and like I said, I mean, it... it I don't know how it works with current use. It can't be built on, so. Uh, well, <laughs> you know, it's still, it's, you know, like in our case, it's the owner's choice where you want to put it, and they help you find the best category for it. Now, I'm not, did you say they put it in unproductive? They no, put it in they, have, land, they have an open other. forested land, and it says other. Mm. So it's not hardwood. You see what I'm saying? I just. Yeah. I'm thinking of the case we just had down on Route 3. Correct. And I'm just wanting to make sure we do absolute due diligence to this so we don't run into the same problem. And I'm not, I've, <laughs> I have <laughs> criteria for current use, I just haven't read it yet. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I mean, I know I walked this once with Joe. They were, he was over there looking at it for something else. Um, and although there's a lot of wet on it, there's some that isn't right. wouldn't qualify as a wetland, even though it's really good. That's right. Here. Yeah. So um, I don't know that there's advantage or disadvantage. The only thing you don't want them to do is put it into wetlands unless it's authenticated as wetlands. Right. But so there you're falling down below <coughs> 10 acres. They have more than enough to put this into any of the categories. It's a 12-acre piece. But again, I don't want to fall into the same mess we were in with that other piece of property in Lockmere. But wasn't that piece the fact that it was put in wetland and it really wasn't a wetland? Yeah. And um, <clears throat> well, now we have the opposite. There were, there were two pieces. And it's like I said, I'm not educated other. enough on this. And does the town do, when these come in, does the town do due diligence to look at the property to see that it, number one, com, you know, comply? Well, I, do not, I cannot answer that for this one, but I know in the past that Lauren has sent someone out to look at what they were applying for. Because I know in the case of Coles, they, they um, submitted an application to put a very wet property um, next to Coles into a wetlands, a constant, you know, into current. That's that we did a um, <coughs> wetlands mitigation on that development. But she would not accept it because she said it was not year round underwater. But is she, is our assessor, wetland scientist, to be able to determine that? 
Well, she sent somebody out there. I yeah. can't. See, that's the problem. That's see. the problem <coughs> I have. I'm just uncomfortable. Right, but in this one, they aren't putting anything in unproductive or wetland. Right. And that's my problem. Why? Because Why? I know there's wetland there that I would call wetland. And what I'm saying is this comes from the property owner. Right. What has the town done to assure that it is what it is? Well, like in the cases in the past that I'm aware of now, not all of them, someone from the assessor goes out and checks the property and see if it, if it matches the criteria for that particular... But they're not... How would we know unless we hired a wetland scientist to go out there and check the property definitively? How would we know? Or even a forester. And like I said, right. I'm not familiar enough with the current use laws to know if it even makes sense to do that. Do we want to spend the money to, to do this on this piece of property? That's the next question. Do, right. is do, there do we have any, somebody? <coughs> if, is, the, if they were putting it, if they were going to be managing it, the forest land, they would get an extra discount. Then they would have a forester go and look. They would get that uh, stewardship discount, but they're not requesting that. They're just putting 12 acres in uh, all other, which is a mixture. Who determines that the criteria for current use for the town is correct? Lord Blackman are ultimately responsible. But they, they didn't well, submit. They're ultimately responsible, but who checked that? It was Lauren. Um, Lauren did, but what this is she missing. Did you go out there and look at it? Not to my knowledge, but what this application is missing that they have to submit is that they have to grade the the wood, and that form isn't in here. Well, why don't, why don't we set this aside, talk to Lauren, see how she determined what she came up with. Right. Because uh, that's what I, the other thing I was looking for is something from somebody that said right. it's good. To is go. there a debt? Is that mm. time sensitive? <coughs> this is why. Okay, let's put it <coughs> aside till next week, and we can send Lauren an email and move forward with it on that. Okay. Is there a reason? Do you feel? Put that with and I'm asking because I'm trying to see where your mind is. Uh, that it should be in wetland when you know it's wet. What started this is I was looking for something from somebody right. telling me that this is okay and right. this is why. Well, all I have is an application from a property owner, right. and I'm looking at that. I do know that, I mean, there's standing water on that property for a lot of it, and that's what I'm looking at, and I see that. That's maybe a minor issue, maybe nothing right. to, the, to having it go into current use. But I'm uncomfortable that... We've had no one advise us that right. this is okay to put into current use and this is why. Okay. And then now Joyce has just noticed it doesn't it's have incomplete. Right. Mm -hmm. um, Catherine, will you call the chief and ask him why he's not here? <clears throat> can you put this, we'll um, keep in the to be signed? Can we talk to him and he will bring this stuff down. Keep it in here? Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm almost oh. done. Well, I'm just telling you. I'm going to have one more question, but it can wait until the end. Okay, go ahead. This is the um, designated key holders policy. <coughs> is this a new one? No, this is the one that two weeks ago the board had readopted with the change. What do you mean we readopted? You changed from code enforcement officer to the selectman's administrative assistant would be the person in charge of the issuance and control of the keys. There's another one in here. Another current use one? Yep. Oh. That I put with the other one. Did that have um, hardwood and... Well, it's just that there's nothing advising me, who is supposed to be an assessor, who knows nothing about assessing that there's nothing else I've got as an application from a landowner. Well, I do not know, even familiar I do with the property. She, uh, <coughs> she did review them and she did kick one back. And she does approve them, right? Yeah, because the one she did pull out, she kicked back because their map was incomplete. So if she approves and denies them, that's kind of a sign that... But we don't have anything, as I said. 
Do you want, then we we need to specify to her. You know, this that, tells me why that you need to put a report this in is there. Denied, and I read it. Do I agree with it? Okay, sounds good. Then we I need to, we need to specify to her that we need a report in there state, stating why she approved or denied it. Okay, and I promise I'll read up on current use. Um, I can print you out. They have the new booklets. Oh, I have to look up the date on mine. Well, they they come out new April first each year. Oh, okay, good. Then I'll throw what I've got away. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And you want Lauren that when she's giving you um, current use applications, that just she's a short a, summary. Of why she's written? Either it's denied or it's approved. <clears throat> Hi, Chief. Nice of you to make it. Um, this is the um, sewer letter. Now, it's my understanding when I went back and looked at my notes that um, the language about that the Joanna had put in about no abatements will be granted on any past due unpaid betterments and also that Joanna had had in there that the selectmen wanted that out. That language. I remember the selectmen talking about that. Well, these are my notes from the meeting. <clears throat> Did you email us that? No. Uh, the the uh, the draft that um, Joanna and Cindy and myself had worked on, the board received. That's what you reviewed at your meeting. Didn't, didn't we say we were not going to sign this until the sewer commission has signed it? I believe that's what we said. Okay. So this is okay to send. Well, after it makes it round, okay to give to the sewer commissioners. Coming around. Oh, it's coming around. And when I was going, I don't know. I'm, you know, see, I'm in the to be signed folder, and all this other stuff is going on. We'll put this to well, be the, signed yeah, the folder to be signed aside. Can wait, you know, we we called her up, but she's this is her agenda. This is her time. Yeah, but then, but we never stopped the meeting to do this. <laughs> we'll put that on the agenda. Time to sign. Remind me next week. We'll put that on the agenda. Signing things in the to be signed folder. I'm going to limit you five minutes. <laughs> Make sure we put a half hour on that. Oh, yeah, here we go. Okay, um, and going over everything with Lauren, cleaning out our abatement uh, file, um, we came across this one, which is over a year old, that we had forwarded to the Sewer Commission. It was a request for an abatement on the um, betterment tax. <clears throat> Our town's policy has been that any time an abatement is submitted to the selectmen, we always respond to it. The law says as to the person submitting the abatement request, if they don't receive any answer from the selectmen by July 1st, consider it denied. But as a courtesy to the taxpayer, we always inform them. This so, is an over a year old, mm -hmm. and the sewer did not respond to it? Correct. So I met with Joanna, and they, um, I forwarded, well, uh, first of all, on December 21st of 2010, there's a sewer commissioner's meeting where they set their policy that they were going to stay with their formula and they weren't going to make any abatements. Okay. I guess this is from someone that had not hooked up and was testing the distance from the stub. Um, this was submitted Monday, February 21st. At their March meeting, they reviewed it. At their April meeting, they tabled it because they only had, they were missing a commissioner and they like to do it with three commissioners. Their May meeting, they met, but there was no decision made. On their June meeting, oh, I'm sorry, on their May meeting, they met with the individual. On their June meeting, there was no discussion. 
on their July 19th meeting, they voted to stay with their original decision. So they had already passed that July 1 deadline, but this still should have come back or I should have followed up on it. Well, it's, it's the sewer commission's responsibility, and quite frankly, if they didn't have to by law, then they don't have to. What we do is by courtesy. Mm -hmm. So my shameful question. of them, though, not to have it by courtesy to respond to them. Yeah. I was just saying. Yeah, I mean, it's their them. policy, and it, the policy and not shameful. We have a policy here that we re, we respond. They should also have the same policy and the dignity of our <coughs> residents to respond. Yeah. I mean, this was we keep it in our folder that we give to Lauren every month when she comes in. We had sticky notes on it saying, you know, what do we do about this one? And then today it was like this was the only thing left in the folder. So I just I bet if they didn't pay their bill for over a year, they'd respond now, wouldn't they? Okay. I think Next. So. so I guess my question is, where does that leave us with that? Are we going to send them a letter? I would like to just send a letter and just say here's a little history that we followed up on it. Okay. okay. Oh, I do have my I'm letter. I'm sorry, that's what it's me. Shameful. It's not it is. It's, not, it's, not it's, it's okay. another governing body in the town. It doesn't matter whether it's another governing body or not. We don't agree with what's going on with the fire department either. True. Okay. True. All right. Still another governing <laughs> body. It's it's despicable. But we should we're respond to a. We're sending a letter for them. No, just we're responding ultimately from the from the assessor from the assessor's office. Who are the assessors? This isn't an assessment it's, issue. It's an abatement. It's a betterment tax. It has to do with sewer. But I, oh, I can I you know like I said I'm not saying no. Don't send the letter, but. But ultimately, it I'm is sure their that you will word it in such a way that it will make sense. Um, I took care of this issue, as the board knows. Uh, yes, you do know. I I made a phone call. Okay, we fine. we discussed it, and I took care of it. Okay. Um, the uh, the mm. contingent second bidder at our auction came in today and said that they want to withdraw their. Um, their offer. So I said before I could do that, I have to notify the board. Um, I did speak with Scott. He said what the procedure is is that we take our contract. They, they should return their contract just as a courtesy, but uh, we write void on it, and then they have to sign every page, and then I should uh, witness their signatures saying that they are withdrawing their if this, if the first mm -hmm. bid doesn't go through, then they're leaving us in the lurch. Correct. So I'm not too pleased with that. They accepted the responsibility of being the second bidder and gave the bid at the time of the bidder, or the third person would have been able to be the second bidder. Mm -hmm. So I'm not. I'm I not think happy ultimately, with though, those two, mm -hmm. there was no, the third bidder wasn't. Wasn't interested. Wasn't interested. That's what um, they were discussing at the meeting. Yeah. So then it was just the two, and ultimately they told them if they want to withdraw, they can withdraw. Right, because they were looking at another property on Noise Road, Correct. and that's what they said is that they said, well, it wouldn't hurt because maybe they wouldn't get the Noise Road one. They came in today and said they got the Noise Road one. So we're not doing our due due, due diligence though. If we let this go, and the first one falls through, then we have to put it back up for auction again. Right, but we and, we and go through the expense again. Right, but we have the five thousand we get their five thousand. The first bidder is five thousand. Mm -hmm. And I understand that part. I understand that part, but we're giving back his five thousand. Right. We we have no choice but to give it back to him. I'm and, okay because I'm still there with Beach. <laughs> <laughs> So Scott said it was okay to give it back, yeah. but I said I wouldn't do anything until I spoke with the board. Well, it's still going to take them time because it has to be processed. Right, but she needs her 
her funds. She wanted her funds today because she needs them for the other property. It's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. The check's got to be cut. The tax. No, no, we didn't deposit it. The oh, so we're just going to give her the check back. And I'll oh, record the receipt of it. That's different. So, we'll um, so I'm to have them sign all pages, I witness their signature, <coughs> write void, the initial void, and I'll write on it that they um, are withdrawing all interest and claims on the contract and they hold the town harmless with any claims they may have had. Um, uh, write void over their signature and initialize. And I also have to acknowledge return of their check and the date. Speak with the selectmen. Um, Let the records be shown I'm not in favor of this. I don't, I don't think it's a vote. It's just. I'm just stating my okay. opinion. Should okay. Be. okay. I think it should be a vote, but. Mm. But you were just going to go on the lawyer said it was okay? Well, he did say that. He said that if you want to withdraw it. Okay. It, I mean, you were there when Scott was talking yeah. to them, correct? Mm -hmm. All they do is put their request in and it's be, it get withdrawn. Right. That's all they have to do. Right. <laughs> document, document, document. Were you going to talk about, um, just mention about we're researching the causeway in your report? I'm going to, yeah, just update. And then just quickly, did Cindy get a chance to talk with you at all, or could Cindy and I talk to you tomorrow about the email I sent you on the bankruptcy? Mama? On the bankruptcy. Oh, yeah. Cindy and I are both I thought you were talking to Alan, and you said bankruptcy, and I'm like, how much is this costing us in legal fees so far? For, for this one, mm -hmm. not very much. Is this, this, this is, is this one. This is a new mm -hmm. one. Is this new one come before the board to allow the legal expense? It's a continuation. Yeah, this is a continuation of that one. We finally got the court disposition. I don't want to say it out loud, but... We got the court disposition and the response that we got from our legal counsel. Oh, this isn't it. No. Oh, I'm That's, sorry. That was just to remind me. Was uh, um, yeah, the response we got was made absolutely no sense. So we I'm, I'm, before we bring it well, to the board. Where is it? I don't see anything well, on I here didn't, that, I that didn't. says who yeah. it is, what it is. Cindy has it. Cindy has oh. that. In fact, I thought she was going to come well, talk to the board tonight. She said How she much has the other one cost us in legal fees so far, associated with this one? I would say pro at least, I bet we're in the three, the three K range. Is there any chance that this is going to end up in the three K range? It shouldn't. This one shouldn't. This is pretty cut well, and dry. There's, there's an issue here. I've got, I got a real issue. I'm well, telling you. What she I would suggest not, is that since better not be a bill. Since Cindy and and Catherine were involved in this initially, we'll do our research without in, incurring any legal expense. We're waiting for to that to get done. Mm -hmm. We're waiting for that to get done. So we're not nickled and dimed to death on this one. Yes. Right. Yeah. We were just waiting for the the court's decision, which we just got. Well, discharging it. Okay, but we were waiting for the other one to get done so yeah. we wouldn't be using that particular one that's going to be nickeling dime in us. Right. So now we're going to begin another one? I hope not. I'm not in favor of that. Okay. So you can sit and talk with Catherine about it right. tomorrow, yes. but I'm going to sit here at a selectman's yes. meeting and tell you I'm not in favor of it. Yes. We just have to be able to discuss it and come to the board. Yeah, I mean, I'm yeah, not, I'm, when she is. showed me her response, yeah, you got to see the response. Right, it I, just I came just, in um, late today. That just, response should be coming to the board of okay. selectmen, not just one selectman or not one it person. Not, it it should be coming to the board of selectmen. It's, I know it do, didn't. It came, That's my issue. It came to, to Cindy. Cindy, and as an elected official, yep. she can contact an attorney yep. without. The board is like and Cindy was kind enough to keep me in the loop. Yeah. Then, then she should be paying the legal bill under her budget, not ours. That legal bill is being spent under our budget. Well, that her budget is our budget too. But yes, out of her line item. Hmm. Okay.
the legal should be coming out of her line out of the next time we go to the budget committee and our legal expense under town clerk is overexpended. She needs to explain that, not us. Yeah, she should have a legal line. She should. I thought we but, um, to have that taken out of her. Didn't we both do that? I don't, I don't think she had a legal line, did she? Um, she didn't. It's just the one line for just the one line, line for us, yeah. taking <coughs> encompassing all of us. Right. And can you, um, in the morning, ask her for a copy of that response? Yes. So that we can see it, because I guess that we all can see it. Yes. And also what came from the court, because that went directly to Cindy as well. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah. I only saw the response. Yeah. If we're paying the bill, we deserve <coughs> to be copied on it. And just a reminder, I'd sent out a notice that I had canceled your meeting with the Northfield Selectman on the 17th, and I'm just waiting to hear back from Glenn as to when their next meeting date is. Why did that get canceled? Because you were not available. It's the same night as the CBA with John Bernard in the Grange. Oh, I didn't know it's canceled. I thought they were meeting every other week. I have some questions for you before you go. Um, we have some paid time off requests. I know that one of the employees from Public Works will be having two days off, but I don't see any paid time off requests. Did we sign it last week? And I'm the, not remembering. Those go to Dennis. Dennis approves those. We've never given police or highway to the selectmen to approve. Really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the other two that are in there, uh, that's information. We do Dennis's, but we don't do it. We do the Chiefs, but we don't do And so, uh, the select, but So the selectmen aren't made aware of those either. When there's two people off? When, when there are people, such in as highway? public works director, or people that are going to be out. Oh, we know when he's Yeah, we know out. when Dennis is out. Well, we he, don't know when he's short staffed. Right. Oh, he'll he'll tell me if if there's if there's going to be two people out. If he's out and another person's out, he always tells me. Like in this instance, it'll be um, there will be one day. It'll be Jay. Will be the. It just seems to me that the. Everybody else responds. Yeah. Responds that to we the should at least. No. no. Why is it else those two departments out of the loop? Why isn't it coming in front of us? If one department yes, is reporting that the town's because employees are PAR, then why aren't two others? Well, they do, when in your payroll, you do see those approved leave requests in your payroll week, but you don't approve them prior Did to. Did we make a separate provision for those two department heads to grant those Paid times off. It's since I've been here. It's always been the way. Yes, it's always been. Uh, Dennis and the chief would let us know when they're taking paid time off, as they would let the board know. Um, in town hall, even like you'll see, there's two employees there that you wouldn't need to approve their time, but it's informational. You don't have to approve the other two that are in there, but so that you're assured that your town hall is covered. I saw one that we wouldn't. And one that is quasi under our jurisdiction. One is an elected official, the rest are all employees. Right, but the other one reports directly to that individual. Right, but there's quasi jurisdiction from the selectmen. I just find that to be an interesting policy and I wouldn't have known it had I not had right, that. But you do see in your in your uh, payroll everybody has a backup <clears throat> sheet that their time was approved. The other question I have is on this elderly disabled tax deferment application mm -hmm. that we signed back in March. Mm -hmm. And then we signed it on April 5th. I'll have to see which one it is. One of them that, that the selectman had signed in the wrong place, if that's the one I'm thinking of, and also it was stamped in the wrong place, and the registry rejected it. Oh, is that this one? Mm. Yes, yes. And okay. Yeah, this was the problem. So it was rejected because you can't do that. And the selectman signed here when they were supposed to sign on the second page. 
Now, uh, the Tilton Northfield Fraternal Association that we voted to accept as a charitable organization yes. and exempt from taxes. Yes, and every year Obviously, they file. Obviously, they file because they have not been informed. No, no, they know. I think they just want to make sure that that decision is the same each year. They file every year their charitable exemption. Right. Well, they don't have to. This board says they don't have to. No, no, they still file. They still have to file. They, they file every year. File. Oh, yeah, they have to file. Right. That's my question. Okay. They, they, and this board has said they are exempt. Right. Okay. Every year. Every year. Thank you. And it's something that the board does mm -hmm. every year to say, yes, you are exempt. So it protects you, protects them. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I'm okay. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Joyce. Thank you, Joyce. Okay. Reports from selectmen. Do you have something for us this time? No. Mm -hmm. Next. I went to... I went, I'm going this way this week. Give me a hot time. I'll give you a hot time. And I have a lot. No doubt you do. <laughs> An awful lot. Our, what's that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I love one. Um, the townwide yard sale, the chat committee would like to set up in the municipal lot up here on that day. That's okay. Say that again. At the townwide yard sale, April 28th, we'd like to participate in it. And I would like the chat committee to set up at the municipal lot where we park our vehicles up here, the staff parks their vehicles. Is that acceptable to everybody? Sure. It's on I a just, weekend, right? Yes, it's yeah. a Saturday. I just want to check, make no, sure. I think that's fine. I don't want to hear on Monday that we didn't go through the channels. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, <coughs> at our... Excuse me, I'm giving my report, and then I'll come back to you. Um, at our chat meeting on Tuesday, um, we, we brought up a couple of um, things. One was that we took the consideration of the selectmen and we made a motion um, to recommend to the selectmen to um, appoint an executive committee we made a motion to name the executive committee. Uh, f there are five members, Tom Gallant, Pat Constantino, Jane Alden, Emily LaPlante, and Iris Iano. So that is the recommendation that's coming before the Board of Selectmen for an executive committee that will oversee the CHAC committee in the Senior Center. So as a selectman, I'd like to make a motion to appoint uh, as executive committee members for the Tilton Senior Committee slash Center, Tom Gallant, Pat Constantino, Jane Alden, Emily the Plant, and Iris Iano. I second it. Um, Discussion. I, I just have one question. I have nothing wrong with any of the people in the committee. Do we treat them like, uh, do we have them fill out new applications? Well, I asked that and I was told no, so it's an, well, they're already members. Oh, I know they're members. I just didn't know if we needed to differentiate. Hmm. Executive committee or not. Executive or not executive. I, I think you're covered by the board's motion. Okay. Officially recognizing them as the Well, we do uh, need these it. executive members going to have the same type of terms of regular members? Are they going to be treated any? I'm just thinking in Cindy's records, do we need to note it, note that they're executive members? Yes, yes. we do. So they come up for a re-election. Okay. Re-appointment. Re-appointment. They will be 
Those in the, on your executive committee will be we appointed have. to that position by your other members? Recommended. The recommendation will be made by the, the recommendation made by, I can address, the recommendation will be made to the board of selectmen by the committee. That is. Your so it's the same process. Yeah. Right. Okay. So the really the only. But the really renewal process will be staggered. Yeah. So right. there, there really isn't any difference for right. two and one purpose right. of recording these members. Right. You kind of like. Well, we should record them because the 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 duties are going to be different. Right. It will be the. Okay. Right. The duties will be different than what so that of a member. So can we just member. pull out their applications and write executive, and make a notation on them that these are executive so committee. Make it simple. Yeah. yeah. That would be great. Make it easier. And then it just gets changed when right. we, uh, we get new recommendations. I think that would be better, um, better t easier to um, oversee both committees. We have one small committee overseeing. We will have members of the Tilton Senior Center that will be volunteers and are not members of the chat that, and vice versa. It's quite exciting to have this. I know it's very quite. Yeah, very. Oh, and you guys have done so much work. So we have um, a motion and a second. All those in any more discussion? All those in favor of the motion? Aye. 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 Okay, we have our uh, uh, spaghetti supper on um, April eighteenth at five thirty. Last year we were. We sold twice as many tickets as we have this year, so we really need to get the word out there that uh, the tickets are ten dollars. Um, get it posted, tickets sold. However, we want to do it, we need to get it out. So talk to people that you know and see if they would like to come to our spaghetti supper. Yeah, there's two for oh, one great. Of your seniors. Great, thank you. Um, the other, um, uh, we also talked about the meeting and uh, videoing the, the minutes and we have been remiss in the last couple of meetings because now we're up at the center. A lot of the committee members have been working very hard to open the center so we go early before the meeting and in order for us to video it, we would have to stop what we're doing, come down to the town hall, get a video, go up, video it, and then bring the video machine back down. So we talked about it, and uh, very well aware that it's a town policy to do that. So um, one of our members' uh, daughter is donating um, to us a video camera, so if you can bear with us uh, another few weeks we will have our own video camera up there with the tripod that we can start videoing our mid minutes uh, our meetings um, my question on the minutes is when we approve the minutes do they go to Cindy or do they go to Tim or to both they go to the town clerk because she's the person who records them and keeps them for the records if you want them on the website you have to send them to Tim as well. Okay. They have to go to Cindy for recording as official town documents. Are all of our committees and boards now recording? Um, did we send letters out to the committees letting yes. them know that that was the policy? Yes, yes we have. Yep. And just word of mouth too. Long time ago, we have. Wow. And we, and about uh, six months after that, we asked, sent them out again. The only ones that are not recording. We we recorded it at the beginning, but now that we're up at the senior center, we're not. We slapped me down on that one. Um, parks is not recording in conservation. I don't think either are aware of it. Will you make sure that parks and conservation both get a notice that this is now town policy? Um, because I know that the chairman of the Parks Commission isn't aware of it. Who's chairman this year? Bob Hardy. 
We haven't had a f another meeting a full. They'll have. They've changed their meeting date to first Monday, so that um, Bill um, Lawrence will be able to attend. He hasn't been able to attend because they had a conflict on Tuesday night. So they switched it because you know they haven't <laughs> all their members. So, and we have a vacancy to fill. So if you could send those to both of those, that'd be excellent. Thank you. The um, somebody's going to have to teach um, somebody how to run the camera. Yeah, there's two of them, and you really have to know how to, if you're going to be downstairs, it's a different camera, and if it's upstairs, it's a different camera, so you need to know how to do both. Yeah. Great. They're, they're different. they set up different. You can't use that camera on the tripod downstairs. Are they labeled? Nope. The downstairs camera stays in uh, Gus's, Gus's office. Oh, that's easy. Okay. Tim's office no, last night. I told her to keep it. They were both in Tim's office last yeah. night when I went to mm. wow. record the fire commissioners. Well, maybe stick it in there to get it. On a jackhammer. Probably. Oh, but okay. The other, uh, the grand opening is May tenth at one thirty. Um, we've got flyers. It's going to be on the website as well. Um, And do you want to read this? Also that week on Tuesday, May 8th at 1 p.m., um, I will be receiving an award, the Joseph D. Vaughn Award, um, which is um, to individuals or couples over the age of 60 in each county has shown outstanding leadership our achievement as a volunteer on behalf of older citizens in New Hampshire and I am the Belknap County uh, recipient of that this year um, I have been nominated by several people in the Belknap County very blessed so you're all welcome to come up down to the governor's office on May 8th and then we can see him again on May 10th Goody. <laughs> so, nice job. Anyway. <laughs> we have a very special presentation planned for May 10th with Tom and the governor, so we're all set. I may bring a camera for that one. Jane, did you have something to say about the Grange? Well, I guess I'll just talk out that it's not that Grange. Thank you very much, Madam Chairman. I think that's all my notes that I have. Catherine? Oh, let's see. Where do I begin? <laughs> Start somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Daniel, what is the highway issue? Who owns it? <clears throat> it's still up in the air. Um, I think we all feel the same way that we don't want it to be ours. Right. Um, there has been emails back and forth, different opinions. I think it's really going to come down to reading the selectmen's minutes, which I'm going to try to do tomorrow, to see what their intent was. I've looked at subsequent years where they've discontinued roads, and every everyone that I can find since this one would say discontinue and the property underneath reverts back to. So it didn't say that. So the only way I think we're going to find out what their intent was research the selectman's minutes so everybody think positive thoughts that it was to 
give it back. Um, so if it was given back, if the intent was to give it back, they have to repair the road. The intent was to give it back. We have nothing to do with it. We just stand back and we don't have to worry about it. Don't have to give it another thought. <laughs> um, the planning board Tuesday night updated the um, driveway permit. Um, we are sending out a letter to a property owner on 307 Main Street. Um, just letting him know that he needs to come into compliance with the site plan for 2002. And under the circumstances, since it's an oversight, I would ask the selectmen to waive the permit fee for the driveway permit. Mm -hmm. Anybody have any objections? Just one more thing we make exceptions to. <laughs> well, I think it's... I understand. I think it would be hard to... Yes, I agree. It would be. I don't have an issue with it. I have an issue with 307 Main Street. Can we talk about that? Sure. Hmm. Let's talk about which... Do you have any what's the consensus on the permit? Waiving the fee. I just think we need to get them under compliance with that parking No, lot. no objections. Go ahead. Thank you. All right. All with the subjects. Right, good. Thank you. Catherine, will you make sure that's very clear in the minutes that no one had objections? Or everybody agreed? It was unanimous. We agreed to waive that fee. All right, good. That's it. My, I want to talk about 307 Main Street. Yeah, you're going to wait your turn. No. <laughs> She's talking about 307 Main Street. I'm bringing it up. <laughs> Chief, is it or is it not enforceable when you drive over the sidewalk and exit on the, over the sidewalk. If the stop and um, a lot of pedestrian traffic to pass, they can make the stop first. Right. I thought the law was more specific in the map. Right. I thought that was when the Mr. Case. Cropsey was here and spoke with us, he turned and he said, then I guess it's up to the police to enforce it and you said we would enforce that because you cannot drive over a sidewalk. Now I want clarification on it. Can you or can you not drive over a sidewalk? If, if there's an open traffic block that they have to stop for us, if, if it's a section of sidewalk then you can. There you go. If it's not, what was the second part? Sidewalk isn't designed for vehicle traffic to cross, then they can't. But if there's an opening in the driveway, then they can, but they can stop to allow pedestrians to cross. So there's actually two other parts of the road, and then they can Okay. Right here, I've got them, 265 colon 26. Driving upon sidewalk, no person shall drive any vehicle upon a sidewalk or sidewalk area except when a permanent or authorized temporary driveway crosses the sidewalk area. 265 colon 69, stopping, standing, or parking prohibited in specified places except when necessary to avoid conflict with other traffic or in compliance with the law or the directions of a police officer or official traffic control device, no person except a person driving an emergency vehicle shall stop, stand, or park a vehicle on the roadway side of any vehicle stopped or parked at the edge of a curb of the street on a sidewalk. And the rest are intersections, crosswalks, and safety zones. So, as you said, Unless there is a driveway there and you have to cross the crosswalk to get into your driveway. If or they're parked lot. on the sidewalk. And there is no access. If they're parking on the sidewalk, is it or is it not enforceable? Parked on the sidewalk, yes. Yeah. If there's no temporary driveway that crosses the sidewalk, they cannot be parked on the sidewalk. 
Yesterday there was a vehicle parked on the sidewalk parallel to route, uh, the main street, route three. Two police cars passed by, saw them parked there, and yet it's not being enforced. I know Lieutenant Martin went down there. This morning went down there because, they're not, because they took the flags down and they took the posts down and they decided that they, were, they had enough and whatever. But they took it down and now they're going to parallel park in front of the store. I understand that he went down this morning after many phone calls. I didn't know about the two cars yesterday, but... They were, they, they were in front of me. There were two police officers, Tilton police officers, that went and were in front of me. I was at the lights. They were at the lights. They saw the gentleman go in, park on the sidewalk. The flags were up. You know what store they went in? I do. <clears throat> the doesn't matter which store they went into. It parked in front of 307 Main Street on the sidewalk. Well, I want to I address it with the officers in the store, too. So, so people go to them. Um, I didn't know about that yesterday, so that's what I feel with it. I feel like I'm, I feel like we're, it's being, uh, we're, it's just falling on deaf ears when you call. And I think it's wrong. There is also, you need to know, um, I received this from Mike Kimball from District 3, Access and Utilities Technician. We have no record of a driveway permit ever being issued at this location, which is 307 Main Street. Under any of these names, I provided him with the names of the property owners going back many, many years. Once there is a change or increase of use, they are not grandfathered and need to apply for an updated driveway permit to reflect the current use. So, but there has never been, there's no ingress and egress from Route 311 into the parking lot from DOT. And you should just post a no parking in the tow zone and then just go in and get parks there. I didn't, even, I didn't know that until just now. So. Yeah, this, this, I thought we were still waiting to hear back from them. So. Well, like I said, I'm, I'm getting bits and pieces. And this is one of them. This is a very big piece. So this is no gray area. When did that they, come? they have no ingress and egress. When did it come, Catherine? When did that piece come? This actually came in January, but I, didn't, I wasn't able to confirm it with him to talk to him today. End of January. So we put that in our 307 file? Yeah, I'll copy. I'll send it to you. I think that would be a key piece to put in there. Yeah. At least it would give you something mm. so that you can tell now the officers to enforce it. Now, and with that, we certainly have a right, if it continues, to put up bollards or something to prevent any ingress and egress from the parking lot over our sidewalk. And the same goes from the street side. Our children have a right to walk on the sidewalks without fear of a car pulling in and parking to go into Jabuda or 307 or the store. They also shouldn't be forced Jabuda. into the street because Call of what cars I want. parking there. Well, that's my point. They should they should be they sh should not have the fear of somebody just coming in and and I've seen it I've seen it over and over and over again. They just come in, park parallel park in front of their front of the flags and go in, come out, and off they go. Can't tell you how many times I've stopped them and said, "Sorry, that's not a parking space." So let's put if this I to can rest. do it, the police officers can. Let's put this to rest. Let's put something out there that says no parking, tow area, and end it. Well, the issue of whether those parking spaces have been approved or not has not been resolved. Right. So we can't. We don't have the authority to decide who parks or doesn't park we're on talking, 311. We're talking on the sidewalk. 
Well, we can simply put signs on up that, on, on our that, sidewalk on that, that say property? no parking on the sidewalk, but we have to be specific. Right. I'm saying on the personal property. No, no. That, that space between the sidewalk and the building is still out. We're not sure yet. Do you have to back on that? Well, the Department of Transportation has not gone on record as saying that they did not approve the parking spaces when he sent in his application for the, well, he didn't send an application. Then. He sent a letter to them. We have, right, we have a copy well, They said of they didn't approve approve the parking spaces, then He sent it in them. in April of 2006. Right. Okay. He sent that in saying, this is what I would like to do. It went to Charlie Provincial down in Concord. He sent in his, his plan of what he'd like to do. And what he, he never sent got in a for a plan is actually not what is in existence there today. He, I don't have any response from DOT. I have asked them twice to commit to saying they are not approved. There is a letter in here that is actually addressed to you, Chief, from on October 31st, 2011, that he says New Hampshire DOT approved four parking spaces. He's never supplied us with a letter that shows that, but DOT has also not gone on record as saying we did not approve. Just nothing to back that up at all. Right. So I have once again today sent an email off to two DOT employee, or not just employees, asking them to commit to please saying you haven't approved it. So we certainly can post our sidewalk. Just, just a question. How do you get to those parking spaces or going across the sidewalk? You go across the street? There's no curb cut anywhere. There's no curb cut anywhere. There's no parking there. Right. There's no parking there. Go block it all off. We're going to solve the whole problem. Well, they're entitled to a curb cut. If they're approved. They are entitled to one curb cut on that property. And they have to be approved of that curb cut. Yeah, Prospect Street. Well, the, the issue with those parking spaces is what he has sent in for a plan of parking is not what he actually put in. So to answer your question, he should not, car should not be allowed to cross the sidewalk and park. They should not. So that, that's my point. Out those, park. those spaces I know park. would never be approved because otherwise you've got to cross the sidewalk to get to or get out of those spaces. That has been this board's opinion all along. Right. But again, we don't have the authority to grant parking on Route 311, well, and we need put signs up all on there on the inside edge of your property. No parking goes on. The sidewalk, I think, is actually right away. Yeah. And it's prescriptive, but yes, I believe that we can put signs up along our sidewalk saying, do not, no vehicular, whatever. But we also have to determine exactly where our sidewalk should be, because when Dennis goes out and do his, does his striping, that sidewalk should be in line with the rest of the sidewalks. Yeah. Didn't you find a... Um, but then if you put no parking on thing. sidewalk, That's are they going to park the in owner? the parking space? Uh, I found... Now if you put signs up so they can't get in I between. I found a variance uh, application for Wallingford. Every three but feet, it's going to be hard to pull in between one of those. I'll have to go back down in the basement and look some more. You're an angel. <laughs> That's quite a job. Is there an approved curb that on Prospect Street? We're in the process of getting no. them taken care of now. You're in the process of it, or do you have to do the process? No, no, no. The town of Tilton. The town of Tilton. Sending them. Because it's a town road. Prospect Street. We only Street. recently discovered that there is no. <coughs> we sent them a letter to, to apply for one. I, I just asked you, have they applied for one? No. 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 It was recently discovered that there was no driveway permit on file for that property. At all. All right. Okay. What else are you? But my point was earlier they are entitled to one. Yes. Oh, of course they are. Yeah. 
Absolutely. Yeah. So we're asking. I was trying to clarify. Your, your point was. So it would be Prospect Street. No. That's no. correct. Okay. Currently. We just want them to come into compliance. Right. No, I'm good. Now, what you got for us? <sighs> Moving right along. The planning board had approved those last night. Uh, oh. Tuesday night. Excuse me, Tuesday night. Man. Right? Really? Tuesday night. Tuesday night. Yeah. So. Increased the birth permit fees. So, and in order to build, in. so new residential building, the permit fee is two hundred and fifteen dollars. Correct. Commercial building is two hundred and fifteen dollars plus three cents per square foot. Correct. Kind of bring us up a little bit into reality. Residential additions, deck sheds, garages are thirty cents a square foot. Right. A cap of two hundred and fifty. Right. I've never seen any deck will cost much more than thirty dollars. I don't blame. This brings us closer into reality with yes, other neighboring correct. communities. Demolition of a building up to twelve hundred square feet in size is fifty dollars. Demolition of a building up to over twelve hundred is a hundred. That's Initial all, that's installation of manufactured that. houses is forty dollars. Did you put that's the never last changed? Hmm? The one that fell off the page. Did you? Oh, you it's on you. there. Everything's on there. You got it back on you. Do nothing, we need nothing's to? Nothing's changed. Do we need so to make a motion? And yeah, you're gonna make a motion to accept them. I'll make a motion that we not accept these. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't help it, sir. I'd like to make a motion we accept these changes in the permit fees, uh, building permit fees. Second. The motion's been made and seconded to accept the recommendation of the planning board to increase the building permit fees. Any discussion on that? Are they really within line with all of the other towns? You're below most places. They are? Yeah. We're closer. You're closer. You get, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you in on a little secret. When I tell people fees as a rule, they laugh and go, that's it? <laughs> that's what I get for a right. reaction. All right. All those in favor of the motion? Aye. 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 <clears throat> okay. Chief, do you have, um, we have a question on a bill that came to us. Do you have paperwork that's associated with that bill? Okay, the speed bumps. Okay, great. Come on up. Speed bumps to Academy and out in front of uh, your place. We do spikes or something in front of your place. <laughs> oh no, she'll like that. Am I? The, the average section of road behind La Chances is 20 feet. <coughs> And they, they do make one that will actually come out to it. It's like just a little bit more than 23 feet. And it's 598.95. So it would basically cover the whole road. It weighs 241 pounds when it's totally put together. But it, it comes in a box and you just um, click the sections together. And so it, you could pull it apart and then move it to another street if you needed to. How high is it? <coughs> um, Two and a quarter inches high. They call it the the premium rubber speed bump. They make different ones. This one will handle um, truck traffic. They can make one for small driveways, but it says it says in clear letters not for not for truck. truck. And this is tractor trailers that come back there. Yeah, anything could drive over this thing. But <coughs> now we have to be able to come up with two because we had we decided that was last week it would be. A couple weeks ago, it would be two. Well, this covers the whole, the whole. Well, it covers the whole section of road from curb to curb. It's for five ninety eight. Both place, both ends. Oh no! Then yeah, then you double it. 
Right. The, yeah, this one. It covers a cross. Yeah, this one's designed to go curb to curb. Right. But isn't thing. the road short enough that if we put it, you know, pretty close to the center, yeah, they, exactly. by yeah, the they, time they get over it, they'd have to, I mean, the stop sign is. Right there, both right ways. There. Both ways. Just the way that the driveways are, um, they they have like three car width driveways for those multi families. Mm -hmm. You know, there's only really one decent place to put this, and that's where the two sections of guardrail are. Right. Right behind La Chance Market. Right. Because if you put it anywhere else in that piece of Academy Road, it well, would. That's where you want to put it, anyway. It would be. Uh, and they couldn't go around. It, it would. Well, yeah, and it would end it in the middle of one of those driveways. Right. So um, I found the best spot for it, and, and it's right where the children at play. Uh, signs are, mm -hmm. and then so if you were to add the two bump signs, one you know east and west, uh, the total would be six forty four eighty five. Wait a minute, if you the children at play is sort of kind of towards the end towards Academy Street. No, no this is th there's another set of signs right behind the Chance Market where the guardrails are. It's on a telephone pole, and. Um, I know where you're talking about. Yeah, this. Oh, is, no. where the where the canal is. Mm, right there. Okay. There's a pole, telephone pole, right okay. there. Okay. So it would gotcha. make it easy. Dennis wouldn't have to. At least on one side, he wouldn't have to plant a post. Um, he could. You'd have. Think, you'd have. We get permission. We two could. speed bump signs plus the one going across the bump, and going the bump, across yeah. them, and it's how much is it? Uh, the total for the signs are twenty two ninety five each. So the the. Total would be uh, six forty four eighty five. Um, keep in mind, we can move it if we need to move it to a different spot. If we rectify the situation. Where could we get the money from, though? I'll take it out of my budget. Well, he has, he has a sign line. I mean, you, yeah, for that. Yeah, but that's Dennis's signs. So. Yeah, so I don't want to speak no, for him. Those, <laughs> those are our signs. He was sitting there. My gets those up right now. Those are our signs. <laughs> Could you feel it from Northfield? <laughs> um, would it and it's two and what? Two, two and, and a quarter. quarter. Oh, when you're going at 20 miles an hour, it is. Plus they're black and yellow, and they do that for a reason, because it, it just catches your eye yeah. where you don't want to. I guess those up there, like Belmont Mill has them, but they're so worn down that it's just like, whoop, whoop, you know, because they're... Right. Very gradual. It's not a pump. Well, there are some that are made gra yeah, that's gradual. Yeah, interesting question. How long? What's the life expectancy? Yeah. Uh, for us, they, forever. Yeah, they do have a. I was on the uh, website. They do have a warranty. I want It's like six years. Well, it's worth it. It saves a life. Question. Next question is: Is we could put a permanent one in? It'd <laughs> be plowing. Next. Yeah, you're Guaranteed plow. against breakage for ten years. Okay. okay. Um, this is only going on in the summertime, anyway. Right. Can, can we kind of take it out of maybe salt budget or something? Yeah, that's sure. a good idea. Sure. Because that was pretty low this year. I would take it out of the sign budget for now, because those are street signs, and this is for street, and then. Look at it in the fall. It's a type of signage. So you can tell uh, Dennis gently that we're taking it out of the sign budget. Yeah. What is the amount? Six forty-four eighty-five. And then we'll, in the fall, we'll move things around if we have to. Because we just looked at all the streets for speed mm -hmm. limits. Like, when you can we get little, it? Um, oh, right away. Now, do we need a sign that says speed bump? That yeah, includes it. This includes it. I missed two that of part. them. That it was five. Oh, that's the five ninety-eight ninety-five. I heard the two of them, but I didn't hear. And what then the two, two signs are. is six forty-four. Okay, I heard the two of them. We gonna make a motion for him to spend that. We're spending it. Or you mind? We're spending it. We're spending a little. Yeah, I do. You know my pedestrian signs. So we should make it in the form of a motion. Oh, you should. I like those. I think for me that I think they work. But there's a couple of them that were very, very old. And one of the things I like to do this year is like, especially the one in front of Polly's. That one's just an antique. Just just replace those. Um, they're about two and a quarter each to replace them. But that's on my list for this year. 
Because I think they... Did you plan on that this year? I don't, I don't have a sign line, but... Can we put a sign line for next year and plan to replace mm. the, the antique ones? Mm. But your yeah. budget is so tight. I, I am I so afraid of going. And the budget right, committee right. last night was oh, yeah. looking mm. diligently mm. over every little... They had a lot of questions. Yeah, I'm already planning for that, so in in-house just to... I don't have an issue with you getting getting it. It's replacing it because I know it does need to be replaced. And, and the one down at Tilton House gets beat up so bad. Yeah. I, I've, I've gone out and helped it out a couple of times. I just I was thinking if, you, if you're able to throughout the year, take a, those two signs from the salt line, let me know and I'll get them if we have any money on that side. Because, yeah, mine's tight. What are the signs? The, you know, the pedestrian, pedestrian walk, walk and the stand-up signs that are in the middle of the road. Oh, those? Yeah. yeah. The people drive by and don't pay attention to Can research to see if this one's that would stand tractor trailers a little better? Yeah. I watched one get run over my friend night. I thought yeah. it was great. Is there, there any grant money for those? Double tires. There was back a few years That's ago. That's when we first got them. Yeah. Was their grant. Yeah, it was called... Um, I remember when they first went in. It was like... They're all beat up already. <laughs> yeah. We have a couple out there that we've had for a couple of years, and now she's still looking Another good. Boston. They made them better. Uh, before, they, they didn't hmm. flex when the vehicles right. hit them. Now they do. And um, they've improved a lot. Yeah. But, yeah, those two, I, I know they were here when I got here. They were real old. They were down in the township. Yeah. So it's on my hit list to replace those, the one by Polly's and, Can you and the one the by Cumberland Farms. They're two and a quarter each. You get the same thing? Mm. But they're the new ones just design better. Um, Does that company have them? It's a different company. Yeah, I looked to see if they did. Um, but if... if um, those are the only two we'd need? Yeah, those just and then those next two. year the you can have, next year we can put a sign uh, line in your budget mm. to replace yeah, some to of them. A, if I had to replace one, one or two, and then we've got it. Yeah, that's a good idea. I would recommend that. I I notice a difference when they're there. It just catches people's eyes. I notice the difference when the they see it mm. since you put them back out there. I notice the difference. We had uh, does a sex. Section of Plymouth and how? Because it might have been me going. Yeah, 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 I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do. That was pretty good. Right here. A little portable bullhorn or something. <laughs> I know. Oh. Don't give her ideas. <laughs> what was the total cost? I don't need it. <laughs> Bump on the two signs. Six forty-four eighty-five. dollars I'll make a motion that we authorize the chief, chief to purchase a um, speed bump with two signs for six hundred and forty four dollars and eighty five cents. Second. For six eighty six forty four eighty five. Six hundred and forty four dollars and eighty five cents for Academy Street. Second. Motion's been made and seconded for a speed bump on Academy Street. Yay! All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Now, that Would you please there. let Clem no oh, don't you're not still on the hot seat here. If that works there, is that a feasible thing for um, the other streets we have issues with? Yeah, I mean, we could move that one, or we, if you really like it, then we could try Test to it out in other areas. Mm -hmm. Can you uh, please let Clem know to tell the tractor trailers that this is coming and be forewarned that that's coming? I don't want to hear complaints about that. <laughs> Seriously. Okay, yeah. I did speak with him about Gatami and he, he, he wants to work with us. He said his trucks go from uh, east to west all the time mm -hmm. when they come in. They come in from Prospect because we talked about the uh, one way. And he said it wouldn't cause any issues. So I'll let him know about this. In the store, we should I'll let them know as well because the uh, they come Academy and then they go into Prospect Street in the parking lot there. And hopefully they exit at Prospect, but we know better, but mm. they don't. But for now, let them know that that's, uh, that, that that's coming. Right. Yeah, and I'll, I'll um, get together with Dennis tomorrow and get this ordered. Joyce, can we send um, 
letters to the residents on Academy Street and let them know that we've been uh, we've ordered a speed bump and then that will be placed within the next few weeks with uh, two signs one in each end hopefully that will deter some of the speed particularly to the uh, residents that have written in to us and be where that guard, the guardrail is in the canal yeah, right there. I agree with that. And we're on the other end. It, it's going to be where that, um, the bush is right on the corner. Okay. Um, and if you like it when other roads come into question about speed issues, we could look to do them. Cedar Street. I um, wanted to ask you what do you think your course of action will be for enforcement of those cars parking on the sidewalk at 307 Main Street? Will you want us to put up bollards and signs first? Mm -hmm. Are you going to notify the store owners? Yeah, I mean, it, we, we have an appeal process for tickets, so in that they look at signage. So, yeah, we're going to have to make sure it's posted properly. As long as they're parked on town property, we can ticket them once it's posted. Or state. Or state. Will you get back to us with a suggestion for signage? I will. Yeah, I'll take a look at it because, you know, part of the challenge there is where to put them. You know, without, unless Dennis makes holes and plants posts, which is a possibility. Which reminds me, there is a new uh, martial arts on downtown, a new store that just opened this week. We should probably let them know about our parking ordinance. They already know it. They're down the other end of the street. They just moved from one building to the other. Same people? Same people. Oh. But he wanted the bigger spot. Because down there he was in kind of mm -hmm. confined. Mm -hmm. So he moved to a bigger spot. What? I think some other people came in about a little coffee shop in town. Yep, they're coming in. It to them too. Yep. She gave them a flyer. Mm -hmm. We tell them everybody that comes in. We tell them to. Yep. Don't tell Catherine it's chai tea. I just won't ask them for it with an extra kit. <laughs> it's decaf. All right. Do you have information for us for the? I do over here. Okay. Is that it? No. Almost. Almost. Just got this piece of information to go along with the bill. Oh, the bill. Did you sign all the payroll? Yes. Sure. I'm pretty positive. <coughs> Chief, I'd like to thank you for everything you do for the town. Appreciate it. Tell you guys who said thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. I'll help you downstairs tomorrow if you want. I've got some stuff to do in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'll come in in the morning. I'll spend some time down here. See what I can find. Okay. If you want some help, let me know. Okay. It's an awful job. This is more sitting there and going through one box. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I um, was asked by the school to research High Street. Mm -hmm. We know it's discontinued by looking at the road book. The only thing in there is a uh, petition. 1968, but there was no action taken. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. There you go from there. Yeah, so I Sometimes guess. it's helpful if you read the deeds for the properties along High Street. Sometimes you'll find information about the road. Yeah, that's interesting. <coughs> I got to look at Selectman's minutes, so I thought I'd try to find something in there. But check out the different deeds along High Street, too. Okay, good. Yeah, we're going to get a copy of that, put it on file? No. Yes. Well, okay. we'll we have a copy of that, put it on file? Not for public dissemination. Oh, I see what you're saying. So. I see what you're talking about. Police issue. I see where you're coming from. <laughs> I thought you would. Uh, 
I don't know what. I'll ask him. Just the the file for the records. I don't believe you can have a file for the records. Oh, no, we don't, he'll keep that. We don't we'll keep that. Okay. Oh, okay. I thought I heard you ask if he could have a copy. I, I was asking the chief. Yeah. He said he'll no. keep that on file. Oh, okay. He'll keep it. You'll keep it on file. Yeah. Okay. Okay. There's no resolution. So what are you looking for? Answers? Well, I want to know how it was resolved. It doesn't tell us how it is. See? Yeah, I knew that. But so I. Doesn't see? I want to see it ending in here. Oh, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> it should say, end of case. Thank you. No more bidding. We know that. We send this to police station. Mm. 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 Joyce, have you heard anything from something like Rain, the company that's going to put the irrigation in? No, and I just suggest today. I mean, they did call. He called. Oh, he did call. Uh, earlier in the week, and he said he'd be there this week. I called Dennis, gave him contact information, and Dennis stopped in today and said he still hadn't heard. Okay. I have um, just one more, one more um, little thing to bring up. On May 10th is the um, grand opening, and I know that there are a lot of people that would like to go from town hall. So I'm making a recommendation that possibly, maybe, see how you folks get consensus of closing 132.3. So that they can go to the grand opening on the senior center. Cindy will accommodate. Oh, closing town hall. Closing town hall. And then Cindy will um, also go according to that. So I don't that have a problem as long as we notice it well in advance. Well, I'm, that's why I'm bringing like it up so May we can. First. <laughs> well, I think we should start noticing it now. So that's that works for me. What do you think? Sure, works for me. As long as you notice it. Sam, did you hear that? Yeah. Many people notice it a lot, both doors. Because you know what's going to happen if we don't. We have to change our sign or either remove it Yeah. on the front. It needs to be adjusted. The times are not right on it. No, they're not right at all. Oh, yes. Yes, they do. They do. Oh, yeah, yep. they do. The day you were not here, trust me, they did. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, people complain all the time. Yeah, and get it just to re yeah, because there's things on there like I think it says that I'll remove the it. building inspector is in there until four something in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. and people say, "What is it?" Monday when I come in, remind That's me right. I'll remove right. it. Right. Right. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Correct. Uh, I'll make a motion to adjourn. So, no, we're going to make a motion to close 130 to 3 on May 10th. Make a motion? I think we should because then it's in the minutes and then that way we can have a... All right, I'll make a motion. We adjourn from, uh, I mean, uh, close the town hall. From <laughs> 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 adjournment on the brain here. 130 to 3. From 130 to 3 o'clock so that the people that work at town hall can go to the grand opening of the range. Second. So, all those in favor? Yes. Aye. Aye. Now I make a motion to adjourn. Second.
Getting better, people. Okay. What's the question? Better. Yep. It's, in a, uh, it's inappropriate. But inappropriate because right. we're off the we're off the time clock. I wonder <laughs> what you were doing over there. Point of order. <laughs> that question on your pillars permit. What do you think? Fuckers and pedalets. Because it's 50 